Hi, my name is Chris and uh, today I want to show you how you can use exported 2D or 3D CAD data from you know, any other uh, CAD software here in PrimeTech 3D and use it as um, the basis for uh, lighting protection calculation or for example short circuit calculations. What we can import is DWG files from AutoCAD for example or uh, Revit. Um, we can import DGN files, for example, uh, MicroStation, but what's getting more and more popular as well is IFC files. Also works if you use AutoCAD architecture or AutoCAD MEP. And what also works, maybe an option for some companies, for some people, um, that you use TIFF data, JPEG files, PNG data, if you have uh, scanned documents or scanned uh, plans of your substations. What we did here is that we imported this CAD data into symbols. So we have a couple of symbols for top view, section views, for example. So we work what is the much harder way to do uh, with 2D data. Yeah, so we have multiple views on our substation. Um, it's much easier and it also it works much better with 3D DWG data or IFC data, for example. Um, yeah, but we show you how it works um, with 2D data, what is even harder. Um, yeah, so once these uh, symbols are created, we combine these views, section views, top views into a module here in the Prime Tech project. And that is the base for our uh, calculations. Another option you have, it has no effect on the calculations, yeah, but it's an option for you. You can also combine these 2D, imported 2D DWG data with um, the intelligent 3D prime tag symbols. So the next step would be that um, we maybe need some, uh, to add some, some, some line work. So for example, just um, a line to represent the lighting protection rod or the gantry um, we can just add anything we just need to have a point that is uh, representing the height um, something we can snap to where we can connect the uh, biotech wires the lighting protection wires um, to or where we can snap um, the um, lighting protection points um, which are the basis for the calculation before we calculate the 3d volume um, here are some settings that we can change. So uh, the standard IC, IEEE, or user defined. Um, yeah, that's more for the radius of that rolling sphere. And uh, define the ground level. Okay, so now we are at a point where we um, have to place these lighting protection dots, which uh, represent the top of a lighting protection rod, for example, where we have to define the wires. and I don't need any intelligence from the 3D model for that. It is just snapping to points in my 3D model or in my 2D model, whatever I have, and uh, calculate from there. And uh, yeah, just within a few seconds, we have that lighting protection volume from um, 2D data. Another option you have is that you not work with a protection volume. So you can also create um, basically 2D lines on a specific height of the protection volume of your substation and represent um, the protected area on that height in, for example, a top view. Of course, we can also create a section of our um, protected volume of our protected area um, and can put that on a lightning protection plan. As already mentioned, you can also use the 2D model as a basis for a kind of a hybrid model where we uh, can also add uh, PrimeTag 
3D wires. And uh, if you do that, you have also the option to perform a short circuit uh, calculation without modeling any of the steel parts here, um, just by um, drawing the wires. So we just need to select um, the three faces here first. So we click on calculate. That brings us to that um, dialog box here where we go through a couple of tabs. First one, document data, uh, some document information. Um, the conductor data, description of the conductor, um, wire information, SAC information. Um, we can adjust the uh, SAC for example here. Next up is the weather conditions. Here we have some uh, temperature levels that we can um, add or remove. Um, so we can also add uh, loads, so like ice or wind. Um, we can add that to the weather conditions. On the calculation point in individual loads tab, we can define um, yeah, individual loads on a specific um, uh, point of the of the of the of the conductor. On the strength data tab, we can control the, um, the length, the number, and the diameter, and the mass of the strings left or right. And on the final tab, short circuit data, we can define um, yeah, some uh, short circuit information like uh, frequency, um, uh, short circuit current and uh, the geometry like spacers and uh, yeah yeah we just uh, hit calculate here and uh, yeah we immediately we get the results tab with the uh, mechanical effects um, and also uh, a sec table um, conductor installation table with all the details um, about the, uh, the forces uh, on our um, on our on our equipment. Yeah, um, that's the short circuit calculation. You can of course export it to Excel, and um, yeah, these are just two calculations that what you can do with uh, an external two D or three D CAD model, BIM model. Um, should work in PrimTag without any problems, and um, yeah. Give us a call, let me know if you need any help, any information on that. Thank you.